Gloucestershire Constabulary is the territorial police force responsible for policing the non-metropolitan county of Gloucestershire in England. The force formerly covered the area of South Gloucestershire, however this was transformed to the newly formed Avon and Somerset Constabulary in 1974. The force serves 637,000 people over an area of 1,024 square miles, 2,650 square kilometres and covers a number of royal residences, as well as Cheltenham Racecourse and the headquarters of GCHQ. As of March 2020, the force consisted of 1,176 police officers, 100 police community support officers, 113 special constables and 358 police support volunteers. The force was founded in 1839, six hours after Wiltshire Constabulary, making it the second rural police force formed in Britain. 7. The force in its present form dates from 1 April 1974, when the southern part of Gloucestershire became part of the county of Avon and thus covered by the newly formed Avon and Somerset Constabulary. In 1965, the force had an establishment of 1,010 and an actual strength of 867. Between 2010 and 2019, the force lost 238 officers due to government budget cuts. From 2013 to 2019, specialist teams, roads, firearms and police dogs operated in a triforce collaboration with the Avon and Somerset and Wiltshire forces. 10. In April 2019, this arrangement was ended by the Gloucestershire Police and Crime Commissioner, Martin Sell, following Avon and Somerset Police withdrawing from the alliance. In 2019, Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary and Fire and Rescue Services rated the force as inadequate for crime reporting arrangements, after finding that over 7,900 incidents of crime in the county per year, and only 69.2% of violent crimes were recorded accurately. The inspection also found 38% of victims were not informed when crime reports were cancelled. In 2020, the force opened a new £6.8 million police academy, the Sabrina Centre, on the grounds of the former Barclay Nuclear Power Station. 9. 15. This coincided with the force offering new police constable degree apprenticeships in partnership with the University of South Wales. Officers killed in the line of duty. See also, list of British police officers killed in the line of duty. The Police Roll of Honour Trust and Police Memorial Trust list and commemorate all British police officers killed in the line of duty. Since its establishment in 1984, the Police Memorial Trust has erected 50 memorials nationally to some of those officers. Since 1817 the following officers of Gloucestershire Constabulary were killed while attempting to prevent or stop a crime in progress. Parish Constable Henry Thompson, 1817 shot by men attempting to free a prisoner. Police Sergeant Samuel Beard, 1861, died from injuries sustained attempting to arrest poachers. Police Sergeant William Morris, 1895, fatally injured by men he warned about their conduct, day-to-day -day policing in the county is split into 55 local communities, organised by three local policing areas each overseen by a superintendent, Cheltenham and Tewkesbury, Gloucester and the Forest of Dean and Cotswolds and Stroud. Each of these areas contains a local policing team, providing an initial response to incidents, as well as a neighbourhood policing team, which manage local concerns. Special Constabulary As of March 2020, the force had 113 special constables, who are mainly embedded in the local policing teams and neighbourhood policing teams. A number of officers have been upskilled in rural crime and the use of forex for off-road vehicles to enhance the force's capability in this area. Investigations In 2015, Gloucestershire police were able to show using biomechanical evidence that Robert Novak was the driver of a car involved in a crash in 2013 in which his friend Mikhail Sobolak was killed. Novak was sentenced to 10 years imprisonment and 7 years disqualification from driving for death by dangerous driving, conspiring to pervert the course of justice and driving whilst disqualified. Race and sex discrimination in recruitment. In November 2006, a tribunal ruled that the constabulary had illegally discriminated against 108 white male candidates it had rejected from its recruitment process solely because of their race and gender. 
Matt Powell, one of the randomly deselected candidates, took legal action and was awarded £2,500 compensation. The Commission for Racial Equality, CIE, and the Equal Opportunities Commission who led the investigation stated that the Gloucestershire Police had unlawfully discriminated on the grounds of race and gender. The same illegal policy was also used by Avon and...